This year was another interesting ASCO for the, for the melanoma, with some really new interesting data. The first data come from the adjuvant, the adjuvant, the, the, the trial, the ECOG 1609, the trial uh, which compared the epilimum of 10 mg per kilograms and the epilimum of 3 mg per kilograms to high dose of interferon. At the moment we don't have, stay, we don't still have the, the results in terms of overall survival and also the results in the comparison uh, between the two epilimum schedule and high dose interferon, but uh, we had an interesting analysis, uh, unplanned analysis, uh, about uh, the comparison of uh, EP 10 mg per kilogram versus uh, 3 mg per kilogram. And uh, the relapse free survival seems to be uh, similar. The hazard ratio was 1. But of course, uh, we need uh, to wait the overall survival because we know also from the 169 trial that progression free survival. Uh, between the 3 and 10 milligrams per kilogram, so it's similar, so we need to wait a little bit more. But anyway, these are interesting because we know that the 10 milligrams per kilogram schedule is toxic, is more toxic than the schedule with lower dosage. Another interesting uh, data comes from the K Note 06, the pembrolizumab, a two different schedule with 10 milligrams per kilograms every two or three weeks versus epilimumab. Now we have the data at uh, almost three years and 50% of patients treated with pembrolizumab is still alive. The patients uh, still progression free at three years is 31%. So this is a, an interesting, important data. And uh, moreover, uh, uh, there are uh, preliminary data about the patients who stop the treatment at two years. Now we have uh, 104 patients who stop the treatment at two years. And uh, at the moment, uh, the median follow-up for these patients is almost 10 months. And 91% of these 104 patients is still alive. So this is important because uh, you know that at the moment, one of the key topics is uh, the duration of treatment. And with these preliminary results, of course, uh, we are going the way that probably we will have a uh, duration of treatment, two years. This may be important for patients and also for the pharmaco economy. Another interesting data come from the uh, brain metastasis trial. We had two, three interesting trials. One was with the target therapy, the Combi MB, and uh, this trial showed uh, the, a response rate of target therapy of uh, 58%. Uh, while uh, if we look at the data of the immunotherapy, the combination of epilima and evolum in two trials, one is the 204, from the MS, the other one is uh, the ABC from the Australian, and this was a randomized trial of the combinations versus nivolumab. But in general, the combination of nipilon nivolumab uh, uh, showed uh, an interesting uh, response rate of uh, 53 and uh, 56 percent. And what is the difference uh, if we compare with the data of the Combi B? Is that why the response rate with target therapy was a little bit higher? But if you look at the duration of response of uh, 6.5 months, and uh, this is of course uh, uh, less than what we have seen in the patients without brain metastasis at the moment, we have a duration of 12 and 14 months. But what is interesting in the combination of epilion evolumab, if you look at the duration response, if you look at the data, the progression free survival, six months, at the moment we have. Uh, the 60% of patients still progression free. So, again, immunotherapy uh, showed that uh, the most important uh, value is the duration of response. And if you look at the data of the progression free survival, epilion evolumab, uh, there is the flat part of the curve uh, uh, after uh, um, one year. But uh, probably the important news come from the new combination of nivolumab lag drink, anti lag drink. This is uh, the first time that we have data from this combination, the first time that we have data from a clinical trial that is used the anti lag 3. These are very, very preliminary results, but very interesting. In a court of patients with uh, melanoma patients who failed previous treatment with anti PD1, PD1, and this is a very bad group of patients that usually has very few chance of response with all the other treatment, we reached a 13% of response rate. But what is also interesting is if you look at the data according to the lag tree expression, more or equal than 1% or less than 1%, it 
in the first group with more than or equal 1%, we got a 20% of response, while in the group with the less 1%, 7% of response. And uh, another important observation from this trial, if you look at the safety, this was our face one trial, so the safety was the main end point. Uh, this combination was really well managed and safe, and uh, if you look, the safety profile was similar to the monotherapy with Nivolum. So, LAC3, this combination, Nivolum with the anti lac seems to be really promised, and uh, we are expecting more data also in the naive population, and we'll see at ASMO this year more data from this promising combination.